So welcome back to my channel and in this video we shall continue what we were doing here. So earlier on we were trying to rotate and then I had an issue with my mouse. And so let's go back to, um, sorry, we were trying to mirror these reinforcements. So we're going to repeat the process. So this is what we're going to do. We go to mirror, press the mirror command and then we select our reinforcements and press enter now it's telling us to specify the point of mirror line so what i'll do is that because i'm taking it towards this to be equal to this part so i need to get a space in between that somewhere that'll be equal and that's why i'm picking this midpoint so i'm going to drag and then place and the question the um, dialog box says erase source objects you press no and that way these ones will be retained and so that is what we have so automatically i have detailed the uh, right hand side of the panels by using the mirror command so that has saved us a lot of time and so um we also need to detail these ones the inter internal points so I can also choose to mirror this by placing it here or if I like, I can still copy this and take it to this point and there I have it. So what is remaining is for me to detail the uh, internal uh, panel here. So that is straightforward all i need to do is sorry so that is the uh distribution bar because it is parallel to the length of the longer side so i'm going to introduce the main reinforcement so we should have something like this so what it means is that at this stage we have placed all the main reinforcements now we are going to start we're also going to start um let's start talking about the uh let's say the internal reinforcement bars for the or rather the top bars for the internal beams so we have what we have our internal beams this is an internal beam spanning from this point to this point we have another internal beam spanning from this point to this point we have another one spanning from this point to this point and also this one spanning to this from this point to this point now this is what we are going to do we are going to introduce as a top bar we are going to introduce so let's take it as um, let's use the layer command for that so we can introduce a top bar somewhere here and also somewhere here now ideally we can also introduce here and also introduce here and same thing applies to this uh, beams however i want us to understand this we can use our donut and our call out to extend the information from here from the length to for the total length of this beam so that it should cover the entire length of all these areas under consideration so i can also adopt that for the horizontal components so i can introduce one here 
and also introduce you can also introduce another one here so this should also cater for the entire length of the beam here in terms of the spacing so as far as we are concerned we have catered for all this so when we are trying to carry out our um you know apportioning the number of reinforcements and spacing and the orientation just like what we did here we are going to apportion to this point too so so also in our previous um, video we mentioned that there will be top distribution bars that will be at right angle to the top bars here and so what we'll have is something of this nature so we may have somewhere around here and then probably ending here so the same thing also applies somewhere around here and we also have it here so we can always also adopt it for this axis as well as for this axis as well as for this axis so we may choose our mirror command to cater for this and then So we can use So what it means is that we already have uh, top reinforcement bars and then the top distribution bars. So this should cater for the it should span from this point to somewhere around here the same thing so it should span for the length of the top beam so in our next video we are going to um, look at you know filling other points and look at how the internal how this kind of reinforcement also who can be adopted for these areas that have um, you know top bars these ones that have top bars and how it can also be adopted there and so once again i'd like you to share this video and subscribe to my channel